Robert Streets. I have a friend who lives across town, and we want to be able to send files to each other with our computers. However, these files are too large to send via email. Is there a way to directly connect our computers, or is there a better way to go about this without mailing CD-ROMs to each other? <laughs> Alas? Perhaps there is. There's an answer for you. If you watch Category 5 TV, you'd get an idea. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's, that's a great solution for you, mm -hmm. the pogo plug. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. On the other hand, if you don't want to go that route, check out FileZilla. FileZilla uh, offers a server edition and a client edition. It's FTP. So you've got a box uh, on your network. Uh, by a box, I mean a computer. So let's say you've got a Windows computer on one end. You install FileZilla server and you give it access to this user so that they can install or they can upload and download files. Then you uh, install FileZilla client and you're able to connect into that server. You've got to open up the firewall. It's fairly simple, though. Uh, if you run into problems, it's, uh, it's you know, something you can ask on the show. I'll just grab the, uh, the website for FileZilla. And I recommend that just because of the ease of use. It's, really, uh, it's a great product. It's really easy to set up. Good guys suggests you send it dot com. Yeah, that will work too. Uh, FileZilla dash project dot org is where you see how we've got download client, download server. The server edition is only available for Windows. The client works on anything that you can throw at it, so Mac, Linux, Windows. Uh, but if you are using Linux for the server, of course, you can install Pro FTPD, something like that. That's FTP, File Transfer Protocol. It's going to give you a direct connection to the user back and forth and be able to send files.